Hey everyone, this is your math guru. Today we are going to learn how to simplify sets via the following examples. In the first example, we have expressed 4 plus root 5 over 3 minus 2 root 5 in the form p plus q root 5, where p and q are rational numbers. Writing it out, we have 4 plus root 5 over 3 minus 2 root 5. We are going to rationalize by multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of the denominator, we have the same terms, 3 and 2 root 5, but the sign changes to plus. And whatever we do at the bottom, we do at the top. Now, if you look at the bottom, this is the difference of two squares, and that's what we are going to be applying. It states that if we have a squared minus b squared, that would give us a plus b, a minus b. So in the reverse, we are going to have at the top, let's put this together first, 4 plus root 5, we'll multiply 3 plus 2 root 5 at the bottom, going to do the same thing, 2 root 5 and 3 plus 2 root 5. Expanding the top, we have all the terms in the first bracket, multiplying the terms in the second bracket, or better still, we're going to FOIL. 4 times 3, that will give us 12. 4 times 2 root 5 plus 8 root 5 plus 3 times root 5, 3 root 5 plus 2 root 5 times root 5, 2 times 5, that's 10. All over, applying my difference of 2 squared, that will be 3 squared minus 2 root 5 all squared. If we simplify, we have 12 plus 10, that's 22 plus 8 root 5 plus 3 root 5, that's 11 root 5 over 3 squared, that's 9, minus 2 root 5 all squared, that will give us 4 times 5, which is 20. I'm going to continue at the top here. We can further simplify, we have 22 plus 11 root 5 over minus 11. If I factorize, if I take out 11 at the top, I have left with 2 plus root 5. I'll do the same thing at the bottom. Factorize 11, left with minus 1. This cancels. This will give me 2 plus root 5 over minus 1. And this will give me, dividing the two times at the top by minus 1, I have minus 2 minus root 5. The question says where p and q are rational numbers, we have to write in the form p plus q root 5. So writing it at the bottom, I have therefore my p equals minus 2 and my q equals minus 1. Let's look at another example. We have expressed it's minus 2 root 6 over 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 in the form m root 3 plus n root 2 where m and n are rational numbers. We're going to do the same thing like we did in the first example. We're going to multiply by the conjugates of the denominator, which is we have our two terms, 2 root 3 and 3 root 2. Because the sign is plus here, we're going to make use of minus. We do the same thing at the top, 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2. I'm going to explain, extend my fraction bar. Putting that together, we have 8 minus 2 root 6 multiplied by in bracket 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2 all divided by 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 times 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2. At the bottom, I'm going to apply the difference of 2 squared, which says a squared minus b squared equals a plus b, a minus b. And if I expand my bracket at the top, or if I FOIL, I have 8 times 2 root 3, that's 16 root 3. 8 times minus 3 root 2, that's minus 24 root 2, minus 4 root 18. And then I have 2 times two, 3 root 2, that will give me plus 6 root 12, all divided by difference of 2 squared, that will be 2 root 3 all squared minus 
the other term, which is 3 root 2 all squared. Before I go ahead in grouping, I'm going to write my terms in their lowest prime under the roots. So I'm going to change this term, I'm going to change 6 root 12. If I do that, I'm going to have, I still have my 16 root 3 minus 24 root 2. If I change that, that will give me, I'm going to work it out here. I have 4 root 18 is the same as 4 root 9 times 2. I can find the square root of 9, that's 3. 3 times 4 outside, that's 12 root 2. Likewise, 6 root 12 will be 6 times. 4 times 3 is 12. And I can find the square root of 4 because that's a perfect square. That's 2. 2 times 6 outside, that's 12 root 3. Replacing that, I'm going to have minus 12 root 2 plus 12 root 3 all over. At the bottom, I have 2 root 3 all squared will give me 12. That's 4 times 3. 12 minus 3 root 2 all squared. That will give me 9 times 2, which is 18. If I group like terms, at the top, I'm going to have... I'm going to continue on the side. That's equals to 16 root 3 plus 12 root 3, that's 28 root 3. Then I have minus 24 root 2 minus 12, that's minus 36 root 2 all over 12 minus 18, that's minus 6. But because I need to leave my answer in the form m root 3 plus n root 2, I'm going to divide all the terms by minus 6. On my left hand side, I have minus 28 divided by 6 will give me 14 over 3. If I reduce to lowest form or I simplify root 3, then minus 36 root 2 divided by minus 6 will give me plus 6 root 2. If I write my form at the bottom, I have m root 3 plus n root 2. Therefore, my m equals minus 14 over 3 and my n equals 6. Let's look at one more example. In this question, we have 1 plus root 2 divided by 3 minus root 2 all in bracket squared. It can be written in the form a plus b root 2. Find the values of a and b. First step, I'm going to expand the bracket at the bottom. That will give me 1 plus root 2 at the top. I still have my 3 minus root 2, 3 minus root 2. If I expand that, I, will have, I still have my 1 plus root 2 at the top. At the bottom, I'm going to fold 3 times 3, 9, 3 times root 2, minus 3 root 2. 2, then I have minus 3 root 2 again, then root 2 times root 2, that will give me plus 2. That is, I still have my 1, I'm going to simplify by collecting like terms, over 9 plus 2, 11, minus 3 root 2, minus 3 root 2, that will give me minus 6 root 2. From here, I'm going to rationalize by multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator, which is, I have 11, I have 6 root 2, because this is minus, this is going to be plus, and whatever I do at the bottom, I do at the top. If I expand at the top, I'm going to have, I can as well put a bracket here, put a bracket here, so 1 times 11 will give me 1, 11, 1 times 6 root 2 will give me plus 6 root 2 plus 11 times root 2, that's 11 root 2, and root 2 times 6 root 2, that will give me plus 6 times 2, that's 12, over, using difference of two rules at the bottom, I have 11 squared minus 6 root 2 all squared. If I collect like terms, 11 plus 
12 will give me 23. And 6 root 2 plus 11 root 2 will give me plus 17 root 2. At the bottom, I have 11 squared, 1, 2, 1, minus 6 root 2 all squared, that's 72. That will be 23 plus 17 root 2 over 1 to 1 minus 72, that's 49. If I move to the other side and I separate the fractions, I'm going to have 23 over 49 plus 17 over 49 root 2. And if I write the form at the bottom, I have A plus B root 2. Therefore, my A is 23 over 49 and my B is 17 over 49. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below. Bye.